So the question is why developing countries, Arab countries, are not able to make it on their own and what could be the role of the Arab League into uh, their upgrade into, into being players in the global economy, for example through a uh, currency union. I would say that uh, is a complex question and uh, uh, the answer is multifaceted. So the first point I would like to make is that there is no better moment than now for developing countries, for emerging markets to make it. So MENA, the Arab countries in MENA, but also in general emerging markets worldwide, um, have never had this chance to become a players in the global economy. Uh, last century was the century of Europe, Japan and the US. This century is definitely the century of the emerging markets and um, there is a fantastic chance for emerging market to make it. MENA can make it as a block. Uh, so I would not definitely specify a role for the Arab League in this. Definitely can play a role, but the main role is to be played by uh, individual agents in individual countries, namely governments and private sectors. So what can the government do uh, to improve uh, the situation in, in the Arab countries? Well, well, they need to modernize uh, their country, they need to cut bureaucracy, they need, what do I mean by modernizing? Cut bureaucracy, stop subsidies to the rich, uh, help uh, um, their education sector to get in touch with demand and supply, making, uh, help the transfer of technology, help um, their country to get into the um, knowledge economy and most of all help capital to flow into the region. So uh, the MENA and the GCC uh, are, as a region are countries that are exporting capital because they don't have bond markets. So governments, for example, they should develop bond markets, attract capital because the needs are enormous from infrastructure to education to health, etc. So there is, summarizing, a role for the governments. Then the private sectors, uh, in individual countries, should uh, as, uh, try to develop, help their uh, put their part in the development of all this I've said before and try to look abroad, try to get uh, some lessons learned from emerging markets that made it before MENA and try to import uh, some lessons learned. Um, so as I said, government has a role to play, uh, investments should go up both from the private sector and from the public sector, the red tape should be cut, uh, consumption should be stimulated. Uh, so MENA can really become a block and the consumption story, the internal consumption story can play uh, uh, going forward a big role in the economic development of MENA. So domestic demand like uh, infrastructure, um, um, financial services from uh, insurance to life insurance to credit, expansion of credit. Um, to um, real estate development for middle class um, development. Um, so many areas that would play the consumption um, story in MENA to create economic growth in MENA. So uh, summarizing, there has never been a moment where MENA can make it uh, uh, so well into the global economy uh, like this century, this is the century of the emerging markets. Definitely uh, the Arab League can play a role, but, but I would say in general if MENA were to look at its own history and build on its strength, that is also its weaknesses, I'm fully aware that MENA has uh, historical legacies, political uh, issues uh, um, and, and problems, but if you look at MENA more or less there is some uh, homogeneity in culture, there is homogeneity in languages and homogeneity in religion and a history of uh, being able to live together amongst many religions. So if MENA were able to become a block and, uh, and um, associate, and again I go back to the role of government, break the links, break the trade barriers, uh, increase trade links, uh, that would be uh, a great contribution for, uh, for MENA to become a block and to play its role in this center of the emerging market. Definitely uh, um, a currency union would help, I would say starting from the GCC is probably the zone that is more uh, uh, harmonized from a currency point of view. Of course there are many issues to be uh, resolved, harmonization, etc. Uh, but definitely if you don't have a currency, a common currency, it's difficult to create those liquid and, and deep capital markets that can hold a bond market, the, the bond market I was mentioning before, that is a requisite for the region to keep its saving in itself and start investing its own savings in infrastructure, etc, etc. So, 
uh, in one line, I believe that individual countries, via their governments, via the private sector, should start, and then MENA should associate and become a bloc and take advantage of this wonderful century for emerging markets.